the inner the yard is um, it's just going back um, to the road. Some countries have diamond. Some countries have pearl. We have reggae music. Inner the yard is about a group of veteran reggae musicians who were well known in their heyday which was, let's say, the 70s to the very early 80s. They're all a lot older now, you know, many in their 70s, and they have come back together to do an acoustic album of some of their greatest hits. It's the language of our people. It's sad and it's happy at the same time, mystical in a sense. You know, I've really loved reggae since I was 14, 15 years old. I think it was a chance for me to tell these musicians stories. They've had lots of ups and downs, chaos in their lives, and a lot of misery, as well as happiness and success. And I think they deserve a, a, wide, a wider audience, and this is almost like their last bow. We walk together, we sing together. It's a family. They're really fantastic. I just like that there was this sensitivity to authenticity. Yeah. And I really appreciate that because that's why I am involved because these are elders that I love and appreciate. One of the common languages of our Jamaican music is love. Love is a key. The situation in Jamaica is political. The, the music is conscious, as they call it. It deals with reality. There's a kind of polarity there, if you like, between the spirituality, which is about, the, you know, in the end, it's about heaven and about transcendence and, and, and there being something worth living for. But your reality, if your reality is really shitty, you have to deal with that as well. So, yeah, I think there's always a tussle between the sacred and the profane. There we go. <laughs> John Lennon came to Jamaica and he was living with some Rasta men. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's a heartbeat. That's where it comes from. But that's what John was working with. Because he found that there was this mystic thing within the beat. You know. What a joy. I think it's really hard to find something that is genuinely uplifting, that is quite soulful. Um, and that this music they make is real. It felt so natural and so easy, eating food and we're making the music and it was such an awesome, awesome thing. And to be around those legendary musicians, there's such a tremendous story surrounding this thing and there's so many people who put so much energy into it. It's not manufactured, it's not pop music, there's nothing wrong with pop music, but it comes from a real place and it's as important in its own way as the blues, as jazz, as soul, you know, it's a kind of major, major music and it's really informed by people who are struggling, people who, are, um, who have a kind of joy in their souls and that, that's for me what makes it super special. <laughs> There's always a new generation, if you notice. Like, Bob Marley is still one of the biggest names in entertainment, and that is a testament to the fact that this music is timeless. An eternal voice, singing an eternal song.